Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I'm uh, going to get a broad overview of the uh, mission that I'm creating, the little Vietnam style uh, mission um, <clears throat> for bringing in chocks of troops into a landing zone. So we're going to fly out of uh, this airbase down here, uh, the chocks along with the cast flight, which uh, you'll be a part. We'll fly up along this route to the ingress point and then we're going to go and go ahead and drop uh, troops in the landing zone. Um, you'll see a couple of different triggers along the route. Uh, this is to initiate some of the artillery and the F-4s uh, that will go ahead and bomb the uh, primary objective over here which is the village to the west of the LZ. Uh, also the artillery triggers. Now yes I know that artillery is you know going to fire while the uh, chocks are on the ground and that's not necessarily realistic you'd want them uh, <laughs> to cease fire before the birds get uh, you know close but again we're going for a little bit of visual fun here as well as uh, audio and uh, in close not uh, perfect but you know close I want to give you some fun as well if I ever get this out to the community um, so anyway, uh, we have our infantry, which will be, uh, you know, on the way to try and push us out of the LZ once we get there. Um, I've also added a FARP down here uh, next to the artillery so that you can uh, rearm as needed, um, you know, because you won't be able to take a whole lot of rockets and, and do a whole lot of stuff. There'll probably be a little bit more infantry and uh, whatnot a little bit later on. Uh, as I as I get into this a little bit more, it's close to done, at least the initial uh, landing phase. Uh, but the push on the village and you know other aspects uh, not quite done yet. Uh, Cobras will support cast in uh, the area I just pointed out, and uh, th this again is uh, it's kind of a, a fun little mission. Okay, it's not uh, it's not meant to be one of those that I found in DCS uh, to be a real pain in the. Um, you know, where you're flying a Huey and you're flying against more modern uh, stuff than the Huey was ever meant to. Uh, you know, really disappointed, kind of, you know, with some of the instant actions when I was first getting into, you know, just trying to do some, uh, you know, weapons stuff with the Huey in DCS. And, you know, if you're trying to even keep safe distances for rockets and whatnot, then you're not doing a lot of damage to things. And, and not only that, you know, the modern uh, anti-air and, and uh, heavy cal heavier caliber um, guns that are, you know, on some of the uh, uh, equipment just seem to take you out way too quick. Uh, you know, no matter how careful you're flying, you know, what kind of... Uh, you know sensibilities you're, you're trying to use as far as staying at, at good ranges and whatnot it just made it really really difficult so basically in this scenario what uh, I've set up is, is mainly small arms fire um, there are some uh, quad 50s uh, over toward the village uh, you will want to avoid those because they will take you out uh, but basically uh, it's it's more geared toward yes you'll hear the pinging off your your aircraft and unless you're like you know in the weeds with uh, some of the infantry troops uh, you know while they're not engaging the other infantry they can and will take you down uh, but again it's it's more geared toward you know your longevity and and being able to you know enjoy the scenario uh, you know that we've created here as well as you know kind of the historical aspects of you know what what happened I have uh, uh, read as well as uh, gotten a few videos off of uh, YouTube I'll probably put a link to the one of the ones I used quite significantly uh, actually for this uh, and a few other few other of the scenarios that I was uh, planning on uh, doing in this series uh, from uh, and I can't think of the name right now, forgive me. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know, some good historical references out there, uh, you know, as far as, you know, how these uh, landings would proceed. Uh, the other thing I found out, uh, you know, uh, while watching those videos um, were the comments from the guys who were actually there, you know, making minor corrections and, uh, you know, just pointing out a few different things. Uh, you know, a lot of good information there as far as, you know, me trying to get this created for folks in the community who like who like me, like flying the Huey, and just want something 
you know, more historically representative of the time frame and, and whatnot. You know, like I said, again, not flying against the most modern stuff where you kind of have to uh, be reserved to a medical or, a, you know, kind of a transport uh role uh in the aircraft um you know not to say that those things aren't fun but you know uh when you're flying in and, and the bullets are pinging off your aircraft and uh, the door gunners are opening it up and and you know you're getting to fire rockets to take out targets and, and things of that nature a little bit more fun for me uh so that's why i'm well, I'm creating these scenarios. Uh, anyway, we're going to move on next to the uh, AI battle, um, just to kind of give you an overview. It's something you don't really get to see while you're flying as much, because I've done this a, a few different times in testing, and you just don't get to see the whole battle. So, you know, this will show you kind of the aspects of, you know, what's going on with the ground forces and the artillery and all that kind of stuff, um, you know, as the mission proceeds. So we'll move on to that next. All right, so here we are on the actual uh, LZ, and we can see uh, <laughs> the reports from the uh, artillery barrage are already kicking in, and the flights come in, and we'll go back into real time here as I had it sped up. Now the ferry flight uh, over is roughly 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes, depending. Um, I want to keep it kind of short, uh, you know, so I chose this location because it actually kind of sets up well as far as. Uh, and LZ goes. We can see uh, some of the fire kicking off uh, from the village, which is not quite in view just yet. We'll turn the map here just to see so yeah, in that direction. <coughs> uh, there are, like I said, quad 50s down there uh, to give you kind of a scare if you get down that direction or to give you another target um, as the mission progresses that you can take out with the you know, uh, rockets or whatnot. So the artillery is kicking in, the infantry is moving forward, and the helicopters are coming in. You know, once again, can't do a lot with the helicopters. You just tell them to do their thing, and that's kind of what they do. The AI is not the greatest as far as combat insertions go. Um, you know, it's just something we've got to deal with within the framework of DCS. Um, yep, still got some anti-aircraft kicking off, artillery reports, and that should be the flight of uh, the Cobra gunships to come in to do the CAS. Um, I've noticed a few times that they will, you know, not actually do cast in the area that they're uh, supposed to. They'll get drug off, and I do believe in this video they get drug off into the to the village trying to take out some of the air uh, air to air targets, and actually one or two of them get downed uh, in the process. And so we got our first chocks being unloaded, and the helicopters here are going to start to exit the AO as soon as they get all their troops dropped off. Uh, you can also see here in the middle where the artillery is taking out, taking out some of the middle troops. Now this happens every once in a while. Uh, get the artillery, since it's random, uh, you know, takes out some of the troops more than I want it to, or sometimes less. I've had it to where they've missed all the troops and the infantry on the field completely get overrun. Again, this is just testing uh, the AI, uh, you know, within the zone that uh, you know will be engaged in. And, uh, you know, working within that, that uh, framework, it, it's not representative of, you know, you being uh, a part of the action or, you know, in this, in this case, what, what I would be doing, <coughs> excuse me, within the scenario. <coughs> and uh, so it, it has a different effect each time you, you go through it. Um, you know, watching the AI uh, come in and do its thing as we see, you know, the Cobra gunships coming in, artillery, you know, all the variables that, that play into this uh, scenario, uh, just like the artillery just wiped out, you know, uh, a portion of that unit down there. Uh, it's different each and, each and every time you play it. Uh, and I hesitate to add more infantry. Uh, in doing so, you know, we might overload the infantry again on the ground, uh, you know, with, with uh, not enough ability to affect the battle, whereas the, you know, mission will get canceled completely uh, because all of the uh, Blue 4 infantry will not be able to make it to the final objective again, which is that village over there in the distance. Uh, we've got a couple F4 Phantoms coming in, uh, again, they have a trip point uh, along the flight route. Uh, the other thing is, is, is all of this is AI triggered. 
Uh, you are not expected to be anywhere. You do not have any specific mission objective. Um, you know, just like in, in, in the real thing. You go out, you point in a direction and told what to do and see if you can accomplish the mission. Uh, but as actual hard points, as far as I'm concerned, I hate those uh, in, in games. Uh, IL-2 is a good example of that because, you know, every time you shoot down on one of the, you know, represent planes, if you leave the, uh, the labels on, the label is jumping to, you know, multiple aircraft within the sector, and you're like, gee, many Christmas, okay, which one do I actually get? What's, you know, what's the, the end point here? Uh, so I, I like to leave this, you know, as open-ended as possible, play as long as you want to, or as long as you've got ammunition. Uh, you know, I did mention I added a FARB a little bit, uh, you know, behind the action here, so you can actually... Uh, go back, reload, and, and fly some more, uh, you know, because it, it depends, you know, some of us uh, in the community, we like to fly for hours on end, we don't mind the long uh, uh, ferry flights, but, you know, other others of us don't have that time during the day, you know, uh, you know, we just want to get in there and, and uh, you know, kind of have a, have a fun time for a couple hours while we've got some, you know, time to do so, so. Anyway, um, you know, we've, we've kicked off a pretty decent firefight over the LZ, uh, you know, as far as the two infantries are concerned, uh, you know, lots of tracers and, and good, uh, good visuals going on, you know, while you're in the mission, you know, again, that's kind of what I'm going for is, you know, fun, you know, as well as kind of a uh, close representation or as close uh, a representation I can, uh, you know, of a a scenario where you know troops are being deployed in Vietnam uh, it later points again you know I'm gonna fortify the village probably a little bit more uh, I'll have another AI uh, chalk of helicopters coming in from another side uh, probably south of the, the uh, village uh, to help press on to the final objective uh, again which is the village over there to the uh, north I believe or the northwest so, overall, it's looking pretty good. Uh, again, this is the first time I've done anything in uh, DCS as far as creating missions, uh, especially on this scope. I've put my plane in and, and flown it, and that's about it, or helicopter, or, you know, whatever else. Uh, but as far as actually creating some... Uh, uh, real logistical and triggered exchanges, you know, with... with uh, you know, the AI and, and trying to create a scenario is, is the very first one, so. Uh, if you guys enjoy it, uh, <coughs> you know, end up in, enjoying the video and whatnot and, and like what I'm doing, go ahead and, uh, you know, leave a like on the video. And uh, if you're interested in seeing more, of course, subscribe. Uh, you're more than welcome. Greatly appreciated. Uh, shout out to all the people who have subscribed to uh, my channel so far. It's it's really small. I just started this not too long ago, as well as getting back into Flight Sims after, you know, 20-some-odd years. So, support's greatly appreciated, and, uh, you know, I hope you all uh, enjoy what I'm doing, and uh, there will be more, hopefully, down the road. Y'all take care out there. Keep your wings level and nose up.